Hello, my most amazing artists. Today we are going to be making monsters. We are going to be making ourselves into monsters, what we think we would look like as monsters. So this was my first example, and you can see that it has very few colors. It is done with our super cool construction paper crayons that we used earlier this year. We're gonna be using these again. And it has some lines around the outside that make it really stand out. So when you do this today, I'm gonna to show you some examples that you can use to help you create your own monster. You can create it tall like I did, or you can create it where the paper is wide or, or horizontal, like I'm gonna do in my example here. So the first thing you have to do is you have to decide what kind of shape you want your monster to be in. So my example, is not what you have to do. It is an example to help spark your mind. So my monster today, uh, you're gonna start in white crayon to get it drawn. We're not gonna use any pencil today. We are going, I'm going to come up and I'm gonna put my body right here. I'm gonna make this one a little bit smaller and then out to the side, I'm going to make a really wide arm and hand with four fingers. So this is gonna be my monster today. On the top of the head, I'm gonna put the eyes. So I think I'm gonna put one eye coming out like this. And I think I'm gonna put the other eye, let's see here, coming around like this. You see how I changed my mind? That's okay, because I'm gonna be coloring over this, so it's all right to do. So this is the shape of my monster today. So from here, what you're going to do is you're gonna take a, let's see here, a black crayon. I know we did it in white, right? But now we're gonna take, oh wait, I forgot his mouth. All right, so for his mouth today, I'm gonna to make a really wide mouth because I'm happy. And then I'm gonna give myself some really big teeth. Are my teeth really this big? I'll make my teeth like this. And then I think I'll put a tongue on the inside. Okay, so I drew everything in white crayon first. Now I'm going to come and I am going to choose a color. When I start coloring today, I am going to use the best three star coloring that you have ever seen. It's gonna be dark, it's gonna be careful, it's gonna be neat. Let's see here, what color should I make myself today? How about blue? I like blue, blue's my favorite color. And then I think I'll take a pink for his tongue. So to start today, I'm gonna start on his tongue because that's really easy for me to do. And I'm gonna come and I'm gonna press pretty hard and stay inside those lines. All right, then um, I'm gonna do his teeth. I'm gonna use a white crayon for his teeth. And actually everything on here is gonna be colored, or not colored, I'm sorry, outlined in black as well. So when I'm doing this, I think I'm then gonna put a black line right here so I can see where my tooth starts and stops. In just one sec, see, there's where my tooth is gonna start and stop. Because we are going to make his body stand out by outlining everything in black, really heavy in black. So I'm going to go ahead and color this in and speed up the video.
Okay, first grade, now that I have got my little monster colored in, now it is time to make all the details really stand out. So you're gonna take a black crayon and you are going to outline everything in black, really nice and dark. You can see when I start putting the black crayon around this, the mouth really stands out. It's nice, neat, careful lines that are gonna make this project just so amazing. All right, so I'm gonna go around and outline the mouth, and I've gotta outline his tongue. And I'm gonna give him some pupils in his eyeballs, or my eyeballs, not his eyeballs, but my eyeballs. And then I'm gonna go around the outside of his body with black. You may say, but Mrs. Garner, it's on black paper. I know, and after we go around his body with black, then we're gonna go around it with white to make him really stand out. So you're gonna have to be careful with this line. You're gonna go around everything. Yes, everything gets outlined. Here, this line. You'll be able to see your lines once you start doing it. I know it looks a little bit difficult now to see it, but you'll see it. All right, so there's one eye, and then I'm going to come down right there. Okay, so I've got my whole little monster outlined. And now for my finishing touch, let's see here. My white crayon. This is where you're going to make you stand out because now you're going to come around the black crayon and make a white line. See how that stands out, isn't that awesome? Now we're gonna come around here. It's kinda of like a little follow the leader line. You're gonna outline the whole thing in white now. You see the difference between this side and this side, how it pops? That's what we're going for. We are emphasizing the shape of his body. So let's talk about the elements of art we have in here. We have color, we have line, we have shape, we have, we've created texture in our body. What else do we have, let me think. Did I say color already? Sometimes it's hard to talk and do this at the same time. So I'm gonna outline and outline. Come around his hand. Now you don't have to have hands. You saw my first example. I didn't have a hand. Oh, look, I didn't outline right here in black. So if you forget, no big deal. Come and do it. And then go around with the white crayon. And there is my monster. Now, when you are all done today, we are, I'm looking for some really awesome ones to hang up in the hallway. Oh, you know what, I forgot one thing. Oh my goodness. I forgot to go over his teeth right here. And then I think I'm gonna go around here with white too to make it stand out. I'm gonna be looking for some super awesome ones to hang up in the hallway. So please, when you are doing this today, Keep your coloring super neat. You see how I kept all of my coloring going in one direction on the body? And on the fingers, I went in the direction of the finger. The arm, I went in the direction of the arm. Think about th that today when you're coloring. If you stop and you look and you're like, oh my gosh, I still have some areas that I can fill in like I'm doing right now. Do it, take the time to do it. You guys are gonna like this. Create yourselves as monsters.